So here's where we left off. We've got a simple channel component that's passed a name and the component renders the name in an li tag. Now when a user clicks on the channel, it should somehow trigger our app to display messages for this particular channel. So we need to listen for click events and respond accordingly. It's actually pretty easy to listen to events in React. We'll simply add an onClick handler to our li tag and assign it a function as the event handler. We don't have a function to handle this yet. Let's just create one called onClick then we'll assign it as the click handler. We could just use the syntax, on click equals in curly braces this.onClick. However, because of the way that the this keyword works in JavaScript, we'll actually lose the context of the component inside of the click handler. In other words, if we try to reference this in our event handler, it won't work the way you probably think it should. And typically, we like to access our React component instance within the event handler by using this.something. No big deal, we can modify the value of this in the event handler by calling bind and passing in the value we like bound to this in our event handler. Let's just log something to the console in our click handler and test it out. I'll use the name property. Now I'll use the serve command to serve our page. Next we'll open our page in the browser. I'll open the Chrome developer tools so we can look at the console. Now we'll go ahead and click on our component and as you can see, we get the message we were expecting in the console. Just to reinforce what I was talking about with the this context and having to bind it, let's remove the call to bind and test this again. And as you see, we get an error. Cannot read property props of null. So let's add our call to bind back in. We aren't doing anything really useful with these events yet. We'll circle back to this later. Now what we've done so far is a nice introduction to React but we're essentially rendering an li tag by itself. And in reality, we probably want this to list one or more channels within a ul tag. So how do we do that? We'll look at this in the next video that covers using multiple components together or composition within React.